Hello, Rasul Geik, principal of the Frontier STEM High School. Frontier School is the largest public charter schools pre-K through 12 in Kansas City, Missouri. Frontier Schools is STEM-focused schools that serves the predominantly minority students. A solar car interests me the most because I have a deep passion in mechanics and like engineering too. And like I love electrical stuff too. My mom does electric stuff. Uh, why don't I put them together, like mechanics and electricals into one vehicle? Solar car. Electrifying, yeah. <laughs> I got interested in solar cars because I like riding go-karts and it's pretty fun trying to race with my siblings. Being able to go fast on a small thing powered by the sun is kind of cool, you know? As a member of CAPS program, Center for American Professional Studies, we focus on building innovation lab and also maker space in our building. I would have liked to build like four years ago, like something that can help people in the future. The technology difference between when we first did the solar car and now is like the, it's like a huge leap. Like solar, uh, solar panels, they're like big heavy blocks of glass, but now they're like almost as thin as A4 paper. You can bend it, mold it on the roof or like the front of the car. Like batteries, they're lighter and better performing too. They're way more efficient than what was in eight years ago. My favorite part of the four-year STEM high school experience was having to learn the different types of steps I can take into making something that I can call my own. My first year was all about making designs on a computer and then seeing them transform on a 3D printer. And then my second year, it was more about making designs on a computer from home. So it was kind of an experience. We didn't have an uh, engineering class third year, but you know, it's okay. We're doing it this year, you know. Two courses, it's all right, I got it. Let me show you some of the materials we have purchased for our state-of-the-art makerspace. This is one of our 3D printers. Here we have a modular table with built-in power strips. This is one of our mini power tool cabinets filled with drills, saws, soldering tools, basically anything a student would need to construct a project design. Here we have a laser engraver and a circuitry kit. This is basically a small modular computer. These are some of our power tools, a power wrench, a power screwdriver, a voltage tester. These are a couple of our VEX robotics kits. Students can design simple and iterative robots, can control them remotely. This is one of dozens of our 3D printers, where students see their 3D computer model designs become reality. Here we have our brand new industrial laser cutter printer. This thing is powerful and will be crucial in our solar car program 2.0. The makerspace is a bastion of creativity. Here, our students get to dream up a design and then see through to the end phase of creation. It is something we here at Frontier are very proud of. Our approach to STEAM education is phase-based. Students begin by learning to use design technology on computers. Once the design has been proved and checked for errors, they advance to the construction phase choosing materials and selecting construction methods. Once the design has been constructed, it is tested to look for weaknesses and ways a new design might be better. In the past, Frontier partnered with other organizations to use a shared makerspace, but it has always been our goal to build our own, filled with cutting edge equipment. Now, with the help of generous partners like Bayer Corporation and Henderson Engineering, Turner Construction and Country Club Bank, that goal is finally becoming a reality. I'm just so excited to see what our students can do in here. It really is a dream come true.